Your Honor, um, I just want to let you know that this losing our son almost three years ago, what it has done to me and my family. They took away our only child. They took away all his hopes and all his dreams. They took away all the hopes and dreams that we had for him. It has basically almost to the point where it has broken us, but thank God for his mercy it hasn't. It has affected us emotionally, physically. A child that we brought into this world 18 years that we had him. And to every day go home, come home next to a room that was filled with so much laughter and so much love and hopes and dreams that we have to look at every single day that's empty. They took away just everything from us. I'm just asking that you would give them the maximum sentence so that no other family would have to go through what we went through. It has been just extremely emotional and just really difficult. But we know we have to keep pushing and going as hard as it is. That day of this, that's the day one, just being remorseful for this, the day one. Um, never indicated we were on trial. He's had to continue to take responsibility for this. And as I said, he has a lot of remorse. He's spoken with our psychologist, he's talked about he's had issues with nightmares, business, he still feels terrible about everything that happened. He couldn't take a background. Um, that's kind of the background of his life. He'd ask Show them as much mercy as possible to give them one to 30 years. I think taking into account his young age when this occurred, his lack of prior record. I just want to um, apologize to everybody today. I was the day that came. If I could go back and change my decision, I would. But as a man, I understand. Uh, the Department of Corrections for a period of 35 years, 
man facing charges tonight after an incident at a court hearing. It happened after a man who pled guilty in his son's death was being sentenced. This is the still image from surveillance cameras inside the Orangeburg County Courthouse Thursday. At the time, 22-year-old Lindy Jones was in the sentencing phase of his murder trial. Investigators say the father of 18-year-old Willie Fields, the man Jones admitted he killed, lunged at Jones, tackling him. The suspect, seen here in the green shirt, is identified as 57-year-old Willie Clay Fields. Fields is now facing assault and battery charges. According to an incident report released by the Orangeburg County Sheriff's Office, Jones was standing with his attorney, and Fields and his wife addressed the courtroom on behalf of their deceased son. That's when investigators say Fields assaulted Jones. Mr. Fields and his family are extremely apologetic to the court for his outburst and the court staff and officers who had to step in. Mr. Fields wishes that his emotions in the moment had not gotten the best of him. The judge in the case cited Fields with contempt of court. He's now facing those added assault charges.